Hey guys, Karina here. Just uh, popping in today uh, with a quick journal flip. This is a moleskin that I started March 2015 and I have the month of October 2016 on here. Um, because I'm pretty much finished with this book. I have a couple more pieces in there that may or may not get finished um, that were from a um, 29 Faces of February challenge um, that was months ago. <laughs> um, so I don't know if I'll finish them, but I'll show them to you anyway. There's only like four or five uh, quick pictures there. Uh, so like I said, this is a moleskin. It's um, I think five by eight, something similar to that. And uh, it has a mixture of things in it. Um, and you can also see uh, the progression or the process or um, the better quality, I guess, maybe, I don't know, of my work in this book. So we'll just pop right on in. Um, and so here I was still doing the mixed media thing where I was using stencils and I I don't remember what the background of this is and I'm feeling it and I'm, I'm thinking it might be Neo Colors. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and I kind of have like a, a squat face girl there. Her face is all squished. <laughs> um, and of course I'm getting into this video and it's saying my battery is low. So I will be right back. Alright, so I have that taken care of there. I'm just going to zoom this in just slightly. Um, okay, so I was getting at that I didn't know what this was done with, but I'm pretty sure it was Neo Colors um, and some other stuff. Um, yeah, I can't really tell. Uh, I do not like the face on this girl, and uh, I, I didn't want to not finish it, but like I said, I was still in the journaling um, stage here and of course there is my quotes um, you can never lose I can't even read tonight uh, you can never cross the ocean unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore so that's um, I really like that quote but um, again I think this one was done with neo colors and uh, there's some I know this is white pigment pen probably sharpie or ballpoint pen I'm not 100% sure but uh, and there's some distress, I think distress ink around the outside edges. But yeah, not liking the face on this girl very much and not overly fond of how the um, the fin and everything turned out here either. And this was in March of last year. And, okay, so this is when I started doing some lifebook stuff in here. And this is some, some personal journaling on the outside. And this was pretty much when I started really getting into drawing better faces. I know this face is not the greatest, um, but it is a little bit different than other faces that I've drawn. And the eyes are different. And, um... This was taken from, yeah, a life book lesson. Uh, this is not the life book lesson, but some of the things that I did in this um, picture. And the next one that you'll see was created from uh, from the lesson that I learned from life book 2015. So I have some collage elements in here. This was definitely done with Neo Colors because um, Tam usually uses Neo Colors quite a bit in her in her uh, weekly lessons when she's doing them. There's some collage. Uh, I think I said collage paper in the back. This is acrylic paint, and um, definitely some distress ink and everything around the outside edges. And this is pretty much the same kind of a concept um, as the other page. Her forehead's way too big. She kind of looks a bit alienish there, but it is what it is. I was experimenting, and you can't learn if you don't experiment with your with your supplies and everything and your skills. So, um, again, same thing as last time. Uh, there's collage elements and um, acrylic paint, new colors, and uh, the white pigment pen that's on the background here. So that's that page. Uh, this was. Dilutions ink in the background here. I can tell by the way that it's all splattered. Um, I could never get the hang of Dilutions sprays. Um, I have about, I don't know, 25 of them. Um, some of them are doubles, obviously, but I do have a whole load of them in one of my bins there, and I've been eyeing them out the past few days, wondering if I should get them out and try to make some stuff again. But it is so messy. It gets all over your hands and all over your table and clothes and 
it is such a messy medium to use. You can get some really nice effects with it, but um, really, really messy. Um, this one is just, I think, some more new colors and personal journaling. And there's some collage elements in there as well. And this one here is, again, personal journaling. And in the background here, I did use some new colors. I do believe... Neo Colors or Intense Blocks, one of the two, because I did have my Intense Blocks um, for Christmas of 2000. And f no, I didn't have my in Intense Blocks then, I don't think. Um, anyway, this is done with um, Perfect Pearl Powder. Uh, I'm not, I think that's Pearl, Pearl Effects. Something, something or another. Sorry, I was just trying to look for it real quick, but it's way out of my reach. Um, this was done in May of 2015, so there's, um, I don't, there's no collage elements or anything on this. Um, <clears throat> the next page was experimenting with my Posca pens and uh, collage elements in the back. I think this is Tim Holtz paper, if I'm not mistaken. And acrylic paint and uh, some Sharpie and all of this here uh, was done with my Posca paint pens. Uh, I did get those for Christmas um, the previous, in two, the, well, December of 2014 I got Posca pens. Um, so I did that. Uh, this is the first time that I tried drawing a male face. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I really don't, it, it's not good. Um, it, it's okay, like it, it was my first try, so I'll give it that. Um, again, Neo Colors in the background, personal journaling. Life book again was all about writing about, you know, writing through issues and writing about your life, kind of, and um, so I brought that a bit in here. And I didn't write it so that it could be read a second time, so it was just me getting out my issues or whatever it was that I was going through that day. And um, yeah, it's it's not meant to be reread, so. And I don't want to go back and reread it anyway, because if it was a depressing day, I don't want to sit down and muddle through that again. Um, just rather leave it as it is and um, you know, just move on from it. But it was nice to be able to write it down and get it out. So, um, this was done with Neil Colors as well. It's all gritty and um, there was gesso on this page as well. I can feel it and I haven't used gesso in months. <laughs> Um, this was done with new colors as well. It's just uh, one of my elephants that I did. And I was thinking about doing something like this to put on my Redbubble page. Um, to, I don't know, put it on something. I just, I feel like I want to do another elephant. And um, I think they're really cool animals. And um, yeah, th this one was fun to do. Uh, this, in the background here, this is acrylic paint. But everything, and, and this is acrylic paint as well. But the rest of it is all done with uh, new colors. And then I have this page, again, personal journaling, and this is where my characters start to get a little more away from this and this, <clears throat> and I start coming up with characters like this, and I really like this one. Um, the only thing, looking back on it, I noticed that one of her eyes <laughs> is a little bit smaller than the other one, um, but that's something that I have to work on. I'm very bad with proportions and stuff, so I have to work on that quite a bit. The hair was done, um, I, you know, I don't even remember what the hair was done with. Um, background was done with Twinkling H2O's. Uh, but this, I have no clue what this, I think it was some kind of a marker, but what it was, I have no idea. And the skin and everything was done with um, Neo Colors and everything as well. So this one, again, more collaging in the background. I was still doing Lifebook at this point and still following on along with the lessons. And there was so much collaging. So, so much collaging. Um, so I had to use up my materials somehow. So this is one of the, one of the other girls I did. I really like doing the lotus flowers. And um, I brought that into this as well. Uh, this was gessoed. Again, personal journaling written on the top of that. Um, that ruins your pens. I find that the, the, the tips of the pens, they block up so much. 
Uh, let's see here. I did this one, and I also turned this one into painting on a cradled wood panel. This was done... Um, it's very difficult for me to tell what some of these it, some of these pictures were done with, but I think this was my Inktense pencils. And now to come to think of it, I believe some of this back here was done with my Inktense pencils as well. Maybe that's what this was, I'm not sure. <clears throat> and this one is the same thing. Um... Yeah, don't know what's happening here. We're gonna pretend this didn't exist. <laughs> and uh, then we have, this is a a character that, um, I, I don't even know why I did this. All of this here in the background, this is all Dilugion's ink. And at this point in time, I was taping the spines and everything of my book so the paint couldn't run into the next page. And this is definitely like Inktense pencils and, and Neo Colors. Maybe some gelatos in there as well. This was done with um, markers, but it didn't work out very well. Um, I like the concept of it. They're, they're kind of neat, but I wish I had just done them a little bit differently. And then we have these. This is, um, I can't even tell, maybe more Inktense pencils, some stamping. Um, these are Neo Colors on top of more gesso. Um, yeah. And again, still learning how to use Neo Colors. Uh, I got the Neo Colors in August, so I used them quite a bit after the after the fact. Um, realize that they should not be used on top of gesso. A pastel and gesso don't really go well together. Although these did turn out okay, and this is when I started. Um, these were images that I found online, or bits and pieces of them anyway, and I kind of turned them into my own thing. Um, I used some. Um, Peerless watercolors to paint this, and I used a um, oh, what is it called? This one is in Reach. This one, um, Tria markers. They have like three different nibs on them. Um, that's what I used for the hair there. And the rest is the uh, Peerless watercolors. Then this I used um, a whole bunch of stuff on this one. There's collaging and. Um, this is the Tria markers as well. It's really nice and smooth and it feels so, so nice. And then the rest of the page is like all gesso-y and, um, rough and just, I don't know, just not nice. I apologize if you hear some scratching in the background. My cat is, uh, at the scratching posts there. Don't know what I was trying to do with this. I was trying to, um... I guess maybe work on some poses. This one did not turn out as I wanted. And I think this was done with ink tents as well, but this one didn't come out very well. Okay, so here starts the um, 29 faces of February. I think, I think, I think. Um, nope, not yet. These are just ones that I did on my own that I, that I just thought up. And... Um, I just recently painted these in because I just left them there. Um, I just sketched through my book and didn't go back and paint anything, so this is the result of that. These are done with, uh, there's some Copics on here. Copics and um, Inktense blocks and Faber-Castell pit pens and a whole bunch of stuff. And I had to stop using both sides of the paper when it came to these because this is what would happen when I would use Copics. And then there's this one. And I'm just going to zoom out whoops, slightly for this one here. Um, I like how the top half of her turned out. Uh, I'm, I'm not so much liking the bottom, but I really like the face on this one. I think she turned out pretty good. 
This is where I start using more Copics um, and ink tense blocks in my pieces because uh, I did get ink tense blocks for Christmas. So this is all you know after Christmas of 2015. So ink tense blocks, just strictly ink ink tense blocks on these, and a lot of the, the next few will be the same. And these were the pictures that I came up with for 29 Faces of February. And again, I didn't use both sides of the paper. These are actually stuck together because they're so wrinkled. So these are all ink tense blocks as well. And there's just some ink on the outside from, uh, I believe this was a black uniball signo. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so again, all these are pretty much similar, all ink tents. So these are all, I'm not too fond of this one. This one is a little bit different than the other ones that I did, but she still turned out okay. Now these two here were done with gouache. Uh, I just recently painted these just a few nights ago, actually. Um, just learning how to use gouache, so they're not perfect. Um, <laughs> so, as I said, I did draw these back in February, but I'm just painting them now. Uh, so yeah, so there's gouache and um, some, um, these are the Cure Arena Wink uh, metallic little things down here. That's what I drew those in with and on the shirt. And um, yeah, these are just characters off the top of my head. And then we have these two. I did these um, not too long ago. And uh, actually, this is the previous video I put up before you guys are seeing the flip through. Uh, I wanted to get a couple more pictures done in here before I called it quits. And after this, uh, you'll see that I started to paint the rest of them, but I didn't. So I'm just going to flip through them real quick. Um, these two here were a combination of um, gouache and new colors and ink and Copic, and it's just a mixture of stuff. So these are the ones that I didn't do, but I'll just show them. These are just some side picture sketches. And like I said, I don't really want to go back and finish these, to be honest with you. Um, they were drawn quite a while ago, so I'm just not interested in them anymore, but we'll see. Maybe I'll just do it when I feel bored or something, I don't know. Uh, I was trying to do a puckered lip there. I don't know if that works, but that's how it happened. <laughs> And this one here I obviously looked at um, Wednesday from the Adams Family to get that picture. But like I said, I don't know if I'll finish these. And I have Maleficent here. And it took me months to be able to say Maleficent. That is just the hardest word for me to pronounce. And of course we have um, a Tinkerbell. And at this point I was getting fed up with trying to think of pictures to draw. So I just went looking at Disney stuff. And we have Olaf and um, Elsa. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the book here. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, the flip through here. I'm gonna put this on my shelf with the ones that I already have completed. Maybe go back to it eventually. I don't know, we'll see what happens. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already to make sure you see my future videos. If you'd like to see my previous video, go ahead and click on this video on the left here. If you want to see one of my random videos, go ahead and click on the video on the right. Until next time, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.